Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. Today, we're going to review a product that we got in one of our Keto subscription boxes last month. It is the Boo Fit. Boo. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Lots of stuff. So this is the Boo Fit Plant Protein Double Chark Double Dark Chocolate Protein Cookie. And we will check it out right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews like we're going to do today. Uh, we talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you'll find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we received this Boo Fit plant protein <laughs> cookie in um, our subscription box last month. Okay. One of them, anyway. And so we are going to review it. Now I did, you'll see it's open. And that's because I don't know what I was thinking. We sat down to do this review and I took the knife and I started ripping it. But we didn't take it out or anything. You were just like, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Why are you opening this up? So uh, it looks really interesting. I'm gonna let you go ahead and read the ingredients. Okay, so serving size is um, one cookie, obviously. Okay. So it's 200 calories, 16 grams of fat versus 10 grams of protein. So higher fat than protein. It's got total uh, carbohydrates are 17 grams and then fiber is nine grams. So eight, right? What about sugar alcohols? Mm, it doesn't say, it's not taking anything out. Okay. So, um, so it says the ingredients are organic cashews, organic prebiotic fiber from tapioca, organic chocolate, which is organic cocoa beans, organic soluble fiber from tapioca, organic cocoa butter, monk fruit, natural flavors, organic red palm oil, which are certified sustainable, organic pea protein, organic brown rice protein, organic cocoa powder, pure water, organic baobab, okay. organic sunflower lecithin, um, orange pulp, sea salt, xanthan gum, organic monk fruit, organic vanilla extract, and organic stevia. Well, the ingredients sound really good. Yeah, I mean, it's dairy-free, egg-free, gluten-free, and soy-free. So whatever you're allergic to, don't worry. You're good. Vegan, keto, and non-GMO. Well, you want to go ahead and try these? Yeah. Now, remember we did try one of the bars from Boofit during our, like, great showdown and I remember I was a little bit... Did we try a Boofit bar? We did. I don't remember. We've had so many bars it was, lately. It was... I really actually remember that one. It was the one that tasted like a pecan log that was a little bit watered down. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yep. So, um, hopefully this one's a little bit more flavorful. Mm, it smells good. It, you can definitely see the ingredients. Yep. I was looking up how much these things cost. I don't know what one that one cookie. ingredient... No, it's not one cookie. No, I mean, that's one cookie. I was just going to say. Okay. You have 200 calories per cookie. Wow. It's got some chocolate in there. Yeah. We are not Cover being stingy. Faces. You're actually. Making it worse. Cookie. Like, <laughs> oh, well. So much for that. You ready? Yeah. But I want the chocolate side. <laughs> so like this big chocolate chip. I don't want that much. There we go. I feel like I'm eating a piece of chocolate. Mmm. Not much of a cookie. Mmm. That is a good chocolate chip cookie. Wow. That chocolate chip has some good sweetness to it. Wow. I'm happy right now. It's pretty good. Oh, good. Surprisingly. It has so much chocolate in it. Like you're saying, it's not as much cookie because there's a lot of chocolate. Big chocolate chunks. Okay. Do so you want to do our high five? Yeah, fine. 
High five review. So if you're new to our channel, we do all of our reviews based on five different things. We talk about the ingredients, we talk about does it keto based on the nutrition label, mm -hmm. um, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? High five. High five. Good job. Okay. So number one, the ingredients. The ingredients are really good. Really right? good. I mean, I, I didn't see, there's one thing in here, I don't know what that is. Organic, but bowed? B A O. Bow, what is that? Bow. How do you spell that? B A O B A B. I don't know what that is. If I can look it up, I'll put it across the screen what it is. Yeah. But it's organic. But that's the only thing. Everything else in here, I know what that is. Everything in here. I mean, good, good, clean ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. So, passes the ingredients. Does it keto based on the nutrition? What do you think? Um, I'm a little concerned with the carbs. It's pretty far up there. So I like the fact that it's it's 200 calories. It's 150 calories from fat. So you're looking at 75% fat. So that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Um, but I like the fact that it's got more fat than protein. But it's 17 total carbs. Mm -hmm. And it is nine, nine grams fiber. of fiber. So, you're so this, eight. I mean, if we eat, if you eat that cookie, that is half of your total carbs for the day. Oh. And you're eating 30 total carbs, which is actually high for a lot of people, right? But, yeah. But, I mean, that's that's a lot. But even without that, what are we looking at? 17 minus 9. Eight. Eight, eight net carbs for the cookie. It's good. But. I mean, it's delicious, but that's... That's really taking a hunk out of your day. Yeah, if you, even if you're doing if you're doing net carbs, you're talking about almost fifty percent of your total of your carbs for the day. But it's possible. Cookie. But it's possible. It's possible if you can fit it in your macros. Yeah. It would have to definitely be like a, a Friday super kind of treat kind of thing. A Friday day. Yeah. You know, for me, I'm gonna look at one cookie or ice cream. And I when I say ice cream, but like you're talking about a good serving. No, I'm yeah, you like this or a double portion of ice cream. Yeah. Okay. So um number three, how does it taste? It tastes really Delicious. good. Like I'm surprised as a when I'm thinking like plant protein, ugh, it's gonna be gross. My thing is I'm thinking of it. There's a part of me that wants to eat more, but oh, yeah, I'm gonna be yeah. good. Um my thing is I'm remembering the bar. And I wasn't like hugely thrilled with the bar. Right. And here the cookie is nothing like the bar. It's it's very flavorful. Yes. Super chocolatey. Like Yeah, I think the I think the taste is really good. Probably honestly for me, one of the best like chocolate chip cookies that I've had since keto. Even mine. I hate wow. to say that. Like wow. that's a I don't take that lightly. I, honestly, like I think I don't know who was it recently. Maybe it was Watch Autumn Keto. Mm -hmm. I think it was Watch Autumn Keto where she was talking about like cookies. And I mean, I I can make some good keto cookies, but as far as these pre-packaged cookies, I'm with her. Every cookie tastes the same to me. I don't care what company makes it. <laughs> really? Right? They all taste the same to me. All these pre-packaged keto cookies. This doesn't taste they the taste same. They taste like almond and erythritol. <laughs> almond flour and erythritol. This Every doesn't. one of them. But this one's not made with almond flour. Oh. Okay. So it's made with protein powders and stuff. So maybe that's the difference. Um, yeah, maybe that's why it's so different because I'm with her. And there's no erythritol in this one either. Well done. Yeah, they're using monk fruit. Well, so. it, it tastes different. It tastes more like the chocolate chip cookies I remember. And yeah. a good one, like a mall one. Like that's a probably Mrs. the Fields. first pre-packaged cookie that I've had that I've liked. Yeah, me yeah, too. So so uh, number, let's see, number four, how much does it cost? So I just looked it up here. Um, 10 cookies is $30. So it's about $3 a cookie. $3 a cookie. So that's yeah, probably going to be a little pricey. bit prohibitive to me just because of the cost. Mm -hmm. I mean, not like, you know, but this is something to have... Like in case of emergency, like, you know, I need chocolate, break the I glass. Have to look, I have to look at, for me, compare it to a bar. It's the same price as a bar. I don't know. Some, sometimes you just want a cookie. But I'm saying it's the same price as a bar. Like I, if I'm willing to pay $3 for a bar, mm -hmm. am I willing to pay $3 for a cookie? And when I look at it, it's 200 calories. And again, I like to look at like cost per calorie, like. Yeah. You know, is it worth it? So it'd be the eating this would be similar to eating a bar. It's just a bar in a cookie form. Yeah. It's pretty much got the same kind of fat profile, the same kind of protein profile, just lower and just a little bit higher in But carbs. this really has a really good cookie mouthfeel, yep. 
So again, man. yeah. So it, it seems expensive, but again, if I start comparing it to how much I pay for a bar, it's not really expensive. No. And again, that's prices on their website. I haven't looked on Amazon. It may even be cheaper on Amazon. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend this? I think I definitely would if it fits in your macros, because like that's a big if. They, there's, it's pretty carb heavy. Yeah. I mean, if for me, if I looked at my five things, like the ingredients are really good. But yeah, that the carbs, like I personally, I'm not buying this. You may buy some for just to have for in case of emergency because they're pretty chocolatey. They're chocolatey, but I'm telling you, I'm not buying this. And, but I'm not buying it because of the carbs. And I'm, I'm pretty good with bars of like not overindulging, mm -hmm. but I honestly, this tastes so good. Like I feel like I might even overindulge on this and now oh. I'd be overindulging a lot of carbs. Right. You know, if I overindulge and eat two bars in the day, I'm still usually only looking at maybe 10 net carbs. Mm -hmm. If I overindulge this, I'm looking at- You're in trouble. Yeah. And I can a lot of times eat only a half a bar. I have no problem eating like just breaking a bar into like a half or even to a quarters and having a piece of it. There's no way. Like this thing is, I'm staring at that right now wanting to eat that. Yeah. Don't you feel that way? Of course I want to eat it. But like, I don't know. I'm just so happy. Like after we had like the fat snacks cookie and stuff that tasted like. Oh, those things were disgusting. Like it, it tastes really good. I mean, this tastes really good. But that's really why good. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it because I don't trust myself. And I, I know it's like you recently said, like you you figured out a trigger that was in the refrigerator and you're like, I'm sorry, it's going in the garbage. I'm like, but I really like that. And you're like, but it's a trigger for me. Yeah. Right. So it's like we have to learn to like figure out what our trigger is and get it out of the house or hide it from our spouse so that it doesn't. I don't want to have something that triggers you. Yeah. Right. That's true. But like I, I feel like so um, for me, this cookie would be a trigger. I can see that. I will hide them from you. So okay. Well, if you, you want some, I will get it for you. Yeah. Because, you know, where you like a bar and that that mouth feel and, and just the whole bar thing, like sometimes I really miss a cookie. And honestly, this is the first cookie that I've tasted that, like you said, is prepackaged. That's that's really good. Right. So, so yeah. I mean, if, if you're looking at from a pure keto standpoint, I would absolutely recommend it. With the caveat that it's high in carbs. Yeah. It's it's not ridiculous, but it is a substantial portion of your carbs. This is yeah. definitely not something to eat every day. This is no. like, you're like, hey, I want a cookie dessert. When, like we do ice cream once a week. That's mm -hmm. our dessert for the week. This is like a once a week dessert. Yeah, like, absolutely. If you eat one of these every day or even every other day, you're probably going to sabotage yourself. Yeah. So that's yeah. the one place I would be super careful with that. So. Yeah. So that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted yeah, to Yeah, and let us know down below if you've tried this before, if you liked it, and or if you would consider getting it. What are your thoughts on the carbohydrates? So. Absolutely. Until next time. Bye. bye.